This video supported in part by The fine folks over at Basic Fun Toys have been teasing me for months now with images of this tiny TV classic based on Star Trek. And I can't find one. They're not in the stores. You can't order it online. The supply chain, blah, 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 blah. And then it occurred to me there are better ways to accomplish acquiring a Star Trek toy in 2022. Perfect. See, that was way more fun, efficient, and cost-effective than waiting for it to show up on my Walmart shelf. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, and I am a Gen X Grown Up, and I am very excited to finally be able to take a look at this tiny TV classic based on one of my favorite franchises of all, Star Trek. We've looked at a few of these so far. We know that Basic Fun has put out four different designs, all the way down from Millennial, Classic, Retro, and then the Ultra Retro, which is what this one falls into. The same style of TV that we saw on that Batman 66, in fact. The same little feature balloons appear here. Best clips and famous quotes. And you're off to a good start in the back here. It looks like we've got the Gorn fight. And is this a famous quote? This was so script. It's, I don't remember quoting that ever before, but certainly some potential for great quotes on the side. They have the Damn it, Jim, I'm a Doctor Nada and a Vulcans Never Bluff. All right, well, now let's cut into this tiny TV and see just how much Star Trek they were able to cram into this little package. Now, of course, instructions have no business on my table, so let's get rid of those. But also, you might not have seen, it's kind of hard inside the package to notice, all these tiny TVs have had some kind of a scene. In this case, it is a scene from the bridge. We see some Klingons on the view screen there. Uh, it's very dark, and it's not probably as prominent as some of the others, but yeah, I like that they, they certainly do that. All right, let's get the uh, TV out of this clamshell. The tiny TV itself, again, is that 60s ultra retro one, which is appropriate. Star Trek came out in 1966, the late 60s, just like Batman 66 did, oddly enough. We have the little remote once again, and we're quite accustomed to the layout. You have a play pause, a power channel up down, and volume up down. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this very stuck on uh, battery defeat for demo mode. Ugh, there we go. And there's a little uh, peg on the back of the remote that you can use to plug right in the TV if you wanna store it on the TV. And if you saw the Batman TV, you know exactly what you have here. It looks like that old modular 60s TV. This side has a manual power volume up down. This side has a channel up down, the reset switch. Uh, yeah, and that gap under the TV. And that's where you store your Atari 2600 when you're not playing it. But of course, the whole point of the gadget is the stuff that's on it. So let's power it on and check it out. See what clips they chose. Tiny TV Classics. Oh, nice. Great start. I mean, it's hard to pick a better first clip than that one, is it? <laughs> Let's go on to channel two. Close enough to smell them. There's the Gorn fight. And that famous quote that hurks from the box, uh, allegedly. You can pause, of course, or resume. Yep. There's an old, old saying on us, Mr. Sulu. Only once shame on you, only twice shame on you. Attaboy, Scotty. Oh, oh, my heart. A hundred years or so from now, I believe. Oh, Edith Keeler. Oh, Edith Keeler. Okay, I can't keep watching that. <laughs> Ooh! It's a Montalban. Con. Wow. Vulcans never bluff. There you go. Right from the box. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> Some dribbles. Appropriate. Man, whoever picked these clips, they knew some Star Trek. Like, they know what some of the more iconic episodes and scenes are. It's Wodka. It's Wodka. <laughs> wow. I'll need help. 
Ahaha! Little naked time. Ooh, Mark Leonard. Some Romulans. There's some Tronya. Let's get after it. We must drink. This is Tronya. Yep. I'm a surgeon. Not a psychiatrist. <laughs> Good bones. There's some short clips in there. Nope. He's out of it. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> There's a lot of clips here. Some of them are very short. There's some to bring. This is a great little TV to have. Man, if you're a Star Trek fan, these are okay. Some of mock time. That's 20 so far, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's see what else we got. And there we go, and that's it. All right. Wow. Okay, real quick, let's look at the, the audio again. Yeah, a little, a little bit kind of like distorted at high volumes. I mean, but it sounds okay. Again, as good as it can sound. And again, we have the ability to pause, the channel, the volume, all that. And finally, you can power it off, hit your test pattern. TV watching's all over. As I've said, looking at other versions of this little tiny TV, and many commenters have said in uh, the previous videos, these are cute, but while they feel expensive at that like $27 price point, I mean, look, if you're a big Star Trek fan, like I am, I, I wanted this one, I'm glad I have this one, I'm keeping this one. The downside is you kind of have to keep it in the box because otherwise there's no way to know it's Star Trek. It doesn't have any logos on it as it shouldn't. So it just looks the same as a Batman TV at a glance, so you kind of need to keep it in the box, which means it kind of doesn't have the same effect as if you had a nice branded Star Trek toy. Anyway, you know, I'm interested in knowing what you think. Uh, is the Star Trek one any better or worse than the previous ones we've looked at? Is it something you're going to look to pick up now that you know it's showing up in stores or you could just beam it in <laughs> if you'd like to get a copy? And in case you didn't see the previous ones, I'll put a link here both to the Jurassic Park and that Batman 66 that we also took a look at. I really hope you enjoyed this quick look at the Star Trek Tiny TV though, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.